Welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. I'm Stefan. If you're like most people, your wire harness might look a lot like this. And we're here to tell you exactly how to make this look a lot better. All right, so you've gotten your bike wired. Uh, you've maybe watched some videos, maybe bought the wiring kit, gone through and done all the things you need to do, got point A connected to point B, and you've got this disaster mess. Uh, now what? What should you do when you've got the spaghetti monster? We have a bunch of products that will help you tame the spaghetti monster, and we'll get into that directly. So we're gonna get this mess out of here so we can talk about how to make it clean. And we've got these. So, starting with uh, tape. You've probably seen electrical tape before. This is not usual electrical tape. This is usual electrical tape. It's made of vinyl and it's not that great and it kinda, it's all stretchy and once you get this on your bike and you loom the whole thing up and then you splash a little gas on it accidentally, it's gonna turn into this gooey, mushy mess of garbage and that sucks. So this tape, is made of uh, PET material, and that's polyethylene terephthalate, and that means it has a temperature rating of 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 150 degrees Celsius, and it's also got a specific acrylic adhesive, which doesn't uh, react that same way to oil, gasoline, and all the other fluids that you've got on your bike. So if you want, you could do the very simple solution of just doing the, the wrapped uh, loom with the tape, that works, but if you wanna go for the next level up, we've got some vinyl loom. This is really similar to what you find on an OEM bike. Uh, this is just kind of nice, soft, pliable, flexible loom. If you've been working on a CB or a KZ or a, you know, whatever bike, they probably have a bunch of wires that live in vinyl tubing. And we've found a very nice vinyl tube for that purpose. But the real one that I'm most excited about is this uh, high density weave uh, split loom. So you can see this all opens up. This is not actually a tube. So, so why, why is this split loom so great? Like, I mean, I've spent years looking for the best of the best and this is the best that I've been able to come up with. Um, you've probably seen some braided loom. Let me grab some. It lives on the floor because it's garbage. That's where it belongs. Um, this stuff is, um, doesn't have the temperature ratings. This is only good to like, I don't know, maybe 150, 200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which is, you know, 100 degrees Celsius. Um, and the big issue is it's not very finely braided and it's also a tube, so you can't take the wires back out of it. And it's a pain in the butt. When you need to stuff wires down this tube, they always get caught in the little braids. And then when it's all said and done, it, it has to expand a little bit. And now you can see all the wire colors in there. It just doesn't look tidy. This is not really, um, this is better than the electrical tape, but this is not really the, the professional level that we're looking for at Revival. Uh, so this stuff doesn't hold a candle to the split loom. This is easier to work with. It has a better visual appearance. And this stuff just kind of wants to fray all the time. You can even see how, how frayed this end is. And I've really only been working with this just for a short time. Yeah, you can cut it with a hot knife and all the rest of that nonsense, but it's a pain in the butt. This stuff, on the other hand, is finely braided and I tell you what, that's been cut with a hot knife, but let's, let me show you what it's like when you just make a fresh cut. Even while you try to fray this, it really doesn't get that bad because it's so finely braided. It's this nice tight weave. It's just, it's just better in every possible way. Temperature ratings are better. Abrasion ratings are better. It's serviceable. This stuff is the coolest shit that I've managed to find for looming wire harnesses, but it still doesn't look as tidy on the exposed sections, you know, when you're looking at your control buttons and uh, brake switches and uh, battery cables or anything else that's really like out in the breeze. And because on a motorcycle, everything is so exposed, that's where the uh, vinyl loom comes in. This just has a very clean look. And when you're running wires from your control switches, you can use some of the smaller gauge um, loom and it really won't look that different from your throttle cable, clutch cable, brake cable, etc. So it just kind of blends into the rest of the controls and you don't notice that you've got this kind of hideous wire mess that's going from the bars back under the bike. 
The worst of the worst for Loom is this corrugated crap. This belongs on a trailer. That's pretty much the only place this belongs. This has no business being on your motorcycle because you've built a custom motorcycle. This doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't perform well. The thermal ratings are terrible. The abrasion ratings, yeah, they're pretty good, but that's not really the whole package deal. This, this is the crap you find at the auto parts store. This is, yes, a split loom, but it's corrugated plastic and it gets dry rotted and it's UV faded and yeah, you've seen this before. It's junk. Don't use this crap. So we, we have spent years putting together the correct components, the correct sizes, the correct lengths to complete a bike. And that all came out of a need because we couldn't find anybody that supplied these, these products. The, these are the, the OEM, these are the, the pinnacle quality automotive level products that are used in top quality cars all over the world. And nobody really offers these uh, to the DIY builders. So we've spent the effort to find the right sources, to find the right suppliers and to package out these kits just so that you guys can have top quality results on your build. Because you know what? It's those last little details that really, really set them apart. It's great to do fantastic metalwork and have an amazing paint job and the coolest wheels on the planet. But if your wires are junk, your bike's junk. So get the good stuff. This is the good stuff. And if you want to combine each of these kits, that's kind of the preferred method, but each one on its own is also excellent. So this is the stuff we use. The same as all the rest of the products at revivalcycles.com. Check them out and we can't wait to help you get your bike back on the road.